Hi. I wanted to say something on the form of diamond painting. Um, a while back, there was um, a comment or two that was, um, I took it as a dig about um, diamond painting wasn't a form of art or uh, crafting. Um, I honestly was a little bit put off by that comment and I try not to take things to heart especially in this um, you know in the YouTube world uh, but I do I do believe that it is um, a craft because um, you actually get to work on canvas you it you know it also um, you take anywhere from three to ten, you know, it, or a couple of months to do this thing. You know, it's um, something that calms you down, just like crafting. Um, you you take this little pen and you take diamonds and you put them on, you know, on this canvas and you watch it come to life. You know, you can be really upset about something or have had a stressful day and you do this, put on a movie or some of your favorite music and it calms you down. It seriously does. Just like people do with painting, um, poetry, songwriting, um, pinstripe on, on muscle cars and motorcycles, dirt bikes. That's all a form of art, you know, acting. So, um, to those that don't think that diamond painting isn't an art, well, that's okay. You're, you're free to think what you want. But to me, um, I've actually had friends saying thank you for paying it forward to showing me something that actually calms me it's one of the most creative, happiest moments of my life for you to actually show me this. And, and they get to give it out as gifts and, and um, you can sell it, you can display it in your own house like you would any other art. Um, so on that note, I, I really want to say to those that uh, dismissed me on doing this and saying that it wasn't or that it isn't art. Sorry, but I'm going to keep posting diamond arts on my, on my uh, channel when I feel that I want to because I do believe that it is art and um, it's all over the place. Like you put it on masks, purses, you know, clothing baseball caps you know and uh yeah so anyway that's just uh a little bit of a rant from something that uh actually deterred me from actually wanting to do any more on my channel but then I started thinking you know what if you don't like my channel and the things that I post then you're free to go to another channel that you feel is more crafty and I'm just a baby. I'm learning. I'm taking steps and I also trying to get myself known. But I also um, appreciate constructive feedback, but not if it's going to be um, rude to me or anybody else in the community. I, I refuse to put up with abuse. You know, I lived with abuse all my life and so have many others. And coming into the crafting world is a place where you're supposed to get along you're, you you know and it didn't it it's not that you're supposed to but um, more along the lines of um, it's a place where I felt comfortable and I've noticed that there are a lot of loving people but there are ones that just kind of I notice when I will pop on to a um, a chat with with someone that I've been watching with for a long time they dismiss me or or knock something about my channel and I'm trying 
and life happens and I don't get all the content that I wish I could and and it all and it all kind of busted me in the gut a little bit I guess you could say but as much as I'm doing this for you I'm doing it for me too and if my channel doesn't take off then I'll just do it for me other than that I love you guys the ones that do follow me and that do care about you know being with me along for this ride I haven't come very far in my life but I thought that being in a community where you know so many people in my life told me that I was crafty and stuff that I could be a part of it but I guess I'm just gonna have to pull up my big girl panties and my socks and just keep trying regardless of what people say about me or my channel or the things that I do you know being ran over by a truck three times and almost killing me didn't keep me down so I'm not gonna let a few comments from people telling me what and what isn't crafting I'm not gonna let that keep me down either so I'm hoping that I will be able to be in a few challenges in the future when my supply gets bigger for crafting and then and that uh, I do make content that people are happy to watch and not just watch halfway through because they think I'm boring. Anyway, on that note, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.